Do you want to say hi to everybody? No. Good morning. I decided to do that recipe that I showed you all yesterday. I'll let you know if it's good. I don't know. I've never made this before. But it just said... It smells good. Like, I felt like that was too, like... Oh, sorry. Those two really weird ingredients mixed together. Salsa and cream and chicken soup. But, um... It does smell good. So I got that done. Cook on low for six hours. I'll be back from work. It's 8.35, so I gotta get going. So we'll just let that cook. I'll be back around probably like 1.30. Press, press number two. We're out of work and making a work deposit. And then we have to stop at the post office to drop off post office stuff. I offered Della uh, McDonald's, but she turned it down. So I told her, I said, if you change your mind, there's another McDonald's on the way home. But I think we're just gonna make these deposits go to the post office and then, yeah. So I just got home. I added into the crock pot, it's done a packet of ranch seasoning, a half a cup of this sour cream, and I'm gonna add these noodles. I do feel like it needs something. I don't know if it's like peas or bacon, or maybe both. So I'm gonna add this, taste it, and then see what it needs. You know what this reminds me of? I know exactly what it reminds me of. It reminds me of tuna noodle casserole when I was like a little girl, but the chicken version. And I don't even know what's in tuna noodle casserole, but. It reminds me of that. I think that's why I'm craving peas because my mom used to put peas in it. It is good. And it, my house smells amazing. Um, but it definitely needs like a vegetable of some sort. I didn't have any just normal peas, but it did have a bag of mixed vegetables. So I'm going to put that in it and see if that jazzes it up a little bit. So this is much better in my opinion. I added salt and pepper and some garlic salt a pack of these mixed vegetables it's good it's good if you like tuna noodle casserole it's kind of like tuna noodle casserole and a chicken pot pie had a baby and this is what it became and full disclosure i left some of these noodles on the side because skylar in particular sometimes just likes regular noodles so yeah i'll let you know if my kids like it so there's sometimes when I'm on the internet and I think to myself, how do you do that? And I see like these people who like, hold on Della, who post things in like the wrong places. I just did that. I went to go post my vlog onto my Facebook and I posted it into the West Side Cincy Moms and I answered like a question about some kid that got circumcised or something. I had to go back in and delete it. All right, I gotta go help Della in the bathroom. I'll be back. My vlog hasn't seen you yet. Welcome back. Hello. My vlog hasn't seen you yet. <laughs> Say hello. My vlog already saw you, but... Oh, yeah. Yeah, hi. Hi. Welcome back. Thanks. It is currently 4.30. I just got done packing everyone's lunches. Jet and Skylar's are the same. We've got a chef salad, Pringles, a plum pretzels, a Rice Krispie Treat, and a drink, a little Capri Sun. And then Sienna's, the only thing that's different with hers is she has an Arnold Palmer in hers. So I'm waiting on her lunchbox, but I put it in the Ziploc bag, and then I put it in my beverage cooler thing, and I keep it in there until the morning, and then I take it out and give it to them to take to school. So there are guys outside, they're pressure washing my house because they're gonna paint the exterior trim. My dad was here this morning, just a little recap because I didn't even talk about this. He took Blue for a walk and he left in my fridge banana cupcakes that my mom made and some vegetable soup. Try it. They're so good.
Good? Yeah. Like a new, like, can you, like, replace, like, oh, like a garage band? Yeah, the little p keypad thing? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, bye. We just dropped everybody off to their things. And by everybody, I mean just Jet to football. And Sienna is singing in the vocal ensemble. And I guess they are, they dedicated a statue to a new little area that they better looks really cool. I just passed it. So she's singing a song. It needs to be picked up in like an hour and a half. So my plan is, but it was actually perfect timing because Jet needed to be at football at six. She needed to be here by 6.30. It's 6.22. So the timing is good in the sense that I, it was one big swoop drop off and there will be another swoop pick up and their pick up times are like 30 minutes apart also. So we're gonna go home. I'm going to set out some clothes for Jet. He's got to get in the shower and why I have to set out my 10 year old son's clothes, I don't really understand, but if I don't, then he'll ask me questions like where his underwear is, which it's been in the same place that I've always put it. But he always asks me, so I'll just set everything out for him so there's no questions asked. I mean, he's got to get on homework. He's got four things. I wanted to Google Classroom and looked it up. So we need to do that together and then I will end my vlog and, and post it onto the internet. I'll be back. I'm here waiting for Sienna. I have no idea where she's at. I never noticed that their school had like that purple light. Uh, this is an all-boys Catholic school. This is the all-girls Catholic school. They're right next door to each other, but I never noticed that. That is very interesting. They're both good-looking schools. Uh, but yeah, I guess it is kind of crazy to think about that there's a boys Catholic school, a girls Catholic school, and they're literally right next door to each other. That's probably pretty rare. I've never looked up Catholic schools that are by each other but I'm sure this is an anomaly now that I think about it okay all right see you all in a bit welcome back how was I'm it not used to it yet. oh get used to it was it good yeah good It is 8.50, Judd's still working on homework. I'm bringing Della upstairs to get her ready for bed, but I thought I would go ahead and end it here and say goodnight. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye. Say bye, Blue. Oh, where'd you go? All right, bye. Where'd you go,